Joseph Shilton, he's a researcher. What this man did is he goes into a laboratory, takes a weak heart cell, so a weak heart cell, and he puts it on the slide and through the microscope he looks at this weak heart cell. That weak heart cell beats for a bit, beats for a bit, it does harakah, it moves for a bit, and then eventually that weak heart cell dies. Eventually it finishes. Then what he does is he takes a strong heart cell. When he takes a strong heart cell and brings it closer to the weaker heart cell, he sees that after a short while, when that strong heart cell gives off some electromagnetic waves, it gives off some electromagnetic waves, the strong heart cell. When that strong heart cell is connected with the weaker heart cell, because that strong heart cell is giving off these waves, eventually that weak heart cell becomes alive again. Subhanallah. Uh, that weak heart cell becomes alive again. This is the reason of Joseph Shilton. Professor Martin Howard, he says that, you know this theory is not only for the heart cell, it's for the entire heart. Subhanallah. It's for the entire heart. And he says that when a weak heart is in the same gathering where we have a strong heart, so when your weak heart is taken into a gathering where you have a strong heart before you, then when that strong heart starts to beat, when that strong heart starts to give off these ele electromagnetic waves, that strong heart starts to beat, then that weaker heart, through the barakah, through the blessing of the stronger heart, that weaker heart becomes stronger. Subhanallah. Through the blessing of that stronger heart, the weaker heart becomes stronger as well. We say that in the 21st century, you researchers are giving us the theory. Alhamdulillah. We